Alright, so I'm going to show you how to fix the Resident Evil 7 mod um, that Preydog made. So now you can use it with the ray tracing update because he made a fix and I want to show you how to install that. Fix the mod. Um, yeah, let's do it. So first of all, go into the link of the description. It will take you to a page that looks like this. Yeah, it'll take you to this page right here, and you're just going to scroll down, and you're going to click on re7.zip if you have the ray tracing update installed, and if you don't have the ray tracing update installed, and you rolled it back somehow or didn't update your game to the newest version, you're going to use the Resident Evil 7 before the ray tracing update thingy. So I'm going to click Resident Evil 7.zip and just click on the books. Boom have my mod right here. Now you can close the Google tab and throw this on the right side of the screen. Next open up Steam and throw it on the left side of the screen and then go into library find Resident Evil Biohazard or Resident Evil 7 whatever go to the little setting thingy go to manage go to browse local files and then close that and then here's your local files of Resident Evil 7 so now you have the mod on one side the game on the other you're just gonna highlight these files that I highlighted right here just hold left click and drag the blue thingy over them like this done and then put it in the middle hold left click and drag all of these over and just click release and then I already installed the mod so all these files I'm just gonna replace Boom, so I just replaced every single file I already had installed since I already installed this mod with this one right here, the one I just showed you. So I don't want to confuse you. Yeah, you just let go and boom, you're done. Um, now you can play the game if you want. You just close all of it, go into Steam, put your VR headset on, launch Resident Evil 7 in Steam, and then you'll... Uh, it will just let you play the mod with motion controls. But um, if you want better performance on Oculus Rift or Oculus Quest headsets, I would recommend going over here to this file. It says delete OpenVR appy if you want to use OpenXR. And OpenXR is better for Oculus headsets. So we're just going to go over to OpenVR underscore appy. Just right click it. Uh, give me a sec. Right click it and delete it. Boom. So now we only have open XR. And this, this little text right here, you can delete it if you want. Um, just because. Like, it's not anything that actually helps with the game. So now, uh, you can close this out once you did all of that. And um, then just open Steam. And uh, get into your VR home. Uh either that's oculus or steam vr whatever and then just click play on resident evil 7 once you have all that on and it will let you play in vr and i would recommend um disabling ray tracing because it, it probably won't run well and uh yeah i'll i already showed gameplay in my other videos but it's the same thing just start it and play vr it's there's no catch, it just works. Um, that's that. Cool, bye.